everyone. Assalamualaikum and very good morning. Today, we like to learn about the protein. Here are easy part to learn about the top protein. The protein is a very important molecule in our life. As you know, the protein in your body, our body, is constitute about 50% of our cell body mass index. The protein is play a very important role in our life. The protein could act as a transport of oxygen. Some of the protein could act as the defense of body from the pathogen. Some protein could act as to catalyze the metabolic reaction. So, you learn how does the protein is very important in our life. Right now, we focus on what is a protein. The basic unit of the protein is a amino acid. Now we like to learn how does the structure of amino acid look like. The structure of amino acid, when we draw the structure, we need to begin with the alpha carbon. Let's see on the diagram given here, how does we draw the structure of amino acid. As we mentioned before this, the monomer of the protein is called as amino acid. Amino acid build up a basic unit to construct the protein. The amino acid will look as this following diagram. The amino acid will begin with the alpha carbon at the center. The alpha carbon consists of the four linkage. The first linkage of the alpha carbon connected to the carboxyl group. This is a carboxyl group. Carboxyl group give an acidic properties of the amino acid. The second linkage of the carbon will link to the amino group. This is the structure of amino group. Amino group give the basic properties of the amino acid. So, acidic properties and basic properties of amino acid is very important to bring the amino acid become amphoteric molecule. And then the third linkage of the carbon is linked to the hydrogen atom. And the final linkage of the carbon is linked to the one very important side chain which is represented as an R. So this is we call as a side chain side chain. The side chain will give a variety of the classification for the amino acid. We like to discuss the variety of amino acid that will be arise from the different type of the side chain as a bit after this. Before this, we look on the structure of amino acid and we learn how to draw the structure of amino acid. We learned before this, amino acid is consists of the amino group, carboxyl group, side chain, and also hydrogen atom. The side chain of the amino acid is very important to bring the amino acid to be classified on the four different groups. So the classification of amino acid is being happen due to the variety of the side chain. The amino acid could be classified into the first one, non-polar. The second one, polar. The third one, electrical charge amino acid. The electrical charge amino acid can be dis differentiate into two. The first one, basic amino acid, and final one, acidic amino acid. All the example of this following groups of amino acid, which is non-polar, polar, basic, acidic, 
will be seen on the next part of the video. As we mentioned before this, the four types of the amino acid generate is nonpolar, polar, electrical charge which consists of acidic and basic type of amino acid. The nonpolar amino acid is arise when there has nonpolar side chain. This is example of the nonpolar side chain. The R group is replaced by the hydrogen atom. So that this particular amino acid is example called as glycine. When they have nonpolar side chain, the properties of this particular amino acid is hydrophobic, means that they cannot form hydrogen bond with the water. The second type of amino acid is uh, amino acid with a polar side chain. This is example of the amino acid with the polar side chain. This amino acid called as serine. In serine, the R side chain is replaced by the CH2OH. They have the OH hydroxyl group and they are able to form the hydrogen bond with the water. So that the polar side chain amino acid is a hydrophilic properties. Acidic amino acid, for example, aspartic acid, the side chain is consists of the carboxyl group. The carboxyl group in the side chain is negatively charged when they are ionized in the water. Because they are ionized in the water, this particular acidic amino acid have a hydrophilic properties. And the final group of the amino acid is a basic amino acid. I mean, basic amino acid has the amino group at their side chain. They are positively charged when they are ionized in the water. So, basic amino acid also hydrophilic when they are react with the water.